Anyway, his name's Sid and he owns this here beast, the Hummer. Hummers are US military vehicles. Can you believe that these cars were designed to be dropped by parachutes and picked up by helicopters? And they've even got these tricky tyres here which you can inflate and deflate while you're on the move. Now, if this car looks familiar to you, it's because it's been in loads of films like Independence Day and The Rock. Now, Arnold Schwarzenegger loved this car so much that he decided to buy the company. Well, not quite, but he did persuade them to build this, the civilian version. And now everyone wants one. But where, where did you first see one of these? Well, I've seen them on the TV, this sort of thing. And, uh, what, in films? In films, yeah, in films. But I never and thought I'd be able to really have the real thing. So did you think you were going to be like the next Arnold Schwarzenegger? Well, I don't know about that, but uh, I've always liked cars and uh, I've never been involved in 4x4s. And so I thought, well, this would be uh, a good place to start, at the top. Yeah. <laughs> Do you use this for every day? No, 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 no. No, all I use this for is for playing in quarries, fun days, and we go down to Silverstone, so we put the caravan on the back of it, and we go down to Silverstone. So it is just um, a play toy. Right. You never tempted to, to frighten them to death down at Northwich and take it to Tesco's to do the local weekly shop? Oh, yes, I, I go downtown shopping and uh, everybody wants to talk See, to I knew you'd go for a pose. You couldn't <laughs> resist. I mean, it is re it's fantastic, isn't it? I could be your G.I. Jane, couldn't I? <laughs> <laughs> Everybody likes to talk to you about the Hummer. Yeah. Uh, because they, uh, they've seen it on the TV. And to see the thing in the real life, it's, uh, uh, people really like it. Right. Is it expensive to run? No, it does about 15 to the gallon, uh, which is more or less about the same as a lot of uh, uh, Range Rovers, this sort of thing. So, yeah. uh, Would you say that this was king of the off-road? Absolutely, yes. When we go playing off-road, yeah. uh, we're not going to see another Hummer there. And everybody comes up to you and they all want to talk about it and they all want to know what it will do. And so whatever mountain we can see or whatever quarry we can see or whatever a lake we can cross, we have a go at it. Right. And so far, it's never been stuck. Right. You know the tyres? Tell me a little bit about them because they inflate and deflate when you're on the move. Yeah, that's right. Um, when we're on the highway, of course, they, we have the tyre pressures the same as any normal uh, 4 before. But when, when we go off-road, we want to, in, into the mud, we want to make the footprints a lot bigger. So then we deflate the tyres from 40 pounds down to about 12. And that uh, gives us better grip in the mud. You, you actually um, service these yourself, don't you? Yes, yes. Is that a tricky business? No, no. It's, it's, uh, there's three Hummers now that I look after, and it's just like working on a truck. Uh, it's just everything's a little bit more heavier than a car and a little bit smaller than a truck. So how much would this beast cost me? This one cost, three and a half years ago, £70,000. £70,000. That's a lot of money, isn't it? I mean, you could have a new Range Rover, but... <laughs> no. What about driving it through, um, say, the water? Can it go like sort of, how deep could it go? Well, so far we've, we've had it uh, in a lake up to the windscreen. <laughs> now, it's, uh, which we've got photographs to prove it. Yeah. What it should have is a, a snortle on the top of the air intake there. Right. Um, what happened was we thought it was only about three foot deep. And as we went, it went deeper and deeper. But it still handled it well. It just kept on going. So, I mean, you're obviously passionate about this car, but yeah. uh, what, what is bad points? Any bad points? No, it's, it's got no bad points at all. Um, you could get in, into this now, and within about two minutes, you'd be very happy driving it. It's automatic. It's got big, wind, uh, big uh, mirrors each side. The sides of the Hummer are flat, so yeah. you can see the curb as you're going down the road, and you can see the white line on the, the middle of the road. So it's very agile, but is it quick? I do like a quick motor. Well, it, it's, it's not as quick as a Ferrari, obviously. No, obviously, obviously. But um, it's, it's as quick as uh, a lot of the 4x4s. So, Sid, is this a rare car in England? Are there many others around? Um, I think there's probably about 10 Hummers in the UK. That's not a lot, is it? No, and I think there's probably about two or three military ones. But um, I don't think there's any military ones on the road yet. 
Right. Um, but there is about, I think, about 10 Hummers that are registered. Um, so, so the civilian version, are they all like, they got all the CD players and all the luxuries? <laughs> oh, yes, yes, yes. The, uh, uh, you can have the TVs in, the CDs, you can have everything. TVs? In, in the Hummer, yes. Uh, uh, the, the red one, one that I look after, that has a TV in it. Right. Uh, in, in the back of it. So if your wife kicks you out, that's the perfect place to go, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. Live in yes. the Hummer. That's right, yes. <laughs> so listen, uh, would you mind giving me a drive? Or no, I'd love have to. A drive? Okay, no problem, let's have I'd a love go. to. <laughs> Okay, Sid. Okay then. Right. You trust me. Here yeah. we go. Okay. Woo! Go, oh, baby! Oh, it's exciting. Fantastic. G.I. Jane's got nothing on me. Sid, thank you very much. I really enjoyed it. It was a lot lighter and a lot easier to handle than I thought. I want to go shopping in one of these. Do you want to put the kettle on and I might just write you a cheque? <laughs>